Hey guys, welcome back to another great game of CDH. I'm planning on keeping it short, but question for the viewer. I switched up thumbnails last week and wanted to know your thoughts. So let me know in the comments down below. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Claudio with Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. Next up is Hidden Planet X on Yargle and Multani. In the third spot is Veil vale of Death on Atraxa Grand Unifier. And bringing up the rear is Teddy on Zimone and Dina. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Claudio starts off the game with a snow covered forest and a Finhorn Elves. Hidden also has a forest and casts an Elves of Deep Shadow. Death plays and cracks a Marsh Flats to grab an Underground Sea using it for a Mystic Remora. Teddy plays and cracks a Polluted Delta, and takes a card out of Death's playbook, as he grabs an Underground Sea into his own Mystic Remora. He does have to give a card to Death, and the fish resolves. Claudio has another Snow-Covered Forest and Green Suns for two. He gives a card to both Death and Teddy, with Claudio searching out a Sanctum Weaver. Hidden plays an Ancient Tomb and takes two for a Talisman of Resilience. He feeds the fishes and follows it up with the Sylvan Library, having the table draw again, and ending his turn smacking Death for one with his Elf. Death untaps and pays for his fish. He has a Flooded Stranus land, cracking it to grab out a Tundra. He actually hands the turn over after that, discarding a Talisman and an Ancient Tomb due to hand size. Oh, interesting. Okay. I definitely would have just played the ancient tomb and play the talisman, talisman, yeah. But you don't will draw. You don't will the t Teddy draw. I think. Maybe I have other right plans. I mean, yeah, but yeah. I guess you you still keep up the the mana unless your need specifically white. Yeah, because I think he has a what's the blow share or I guess have to extra, uh, and he can excite my command also. Teddy also pays for the fish, playing and tapping an Ancient Tomb to cast an Arcane Signet. This does give a card to death, with Teddy tapping the rock for an Elves of Deep Shadow. Claudio has a Homeward Path. With his Weaver being his only source of blue, he taps to for his Commander Cannon, following it up with an Arcane Signet, giving Teddy and death a draw. Hidden untaps and Sylvan. He wants to match the fish and takes 8 to keep the extra cards, continuing the life loss as he shocks in an overgrown tomb and passes, with death at his end step in lightened tutoring. He gives a card to Teddy, but gets the search, as he grabs a carpet of flowers to put on top. Death untaps and pays for his fish. He has a mana confluence's land and takes 1 to cast his tutored carpet. Teddy draws, with Death heading to his second main to activate for a black mana, which he uses on a Vampiric Tutor. Teddy draws, and Death gets to search again to put something on top. Teddy untaps and debates whether or not he wants to keep his fish around. Ultimately, he kills the fish, and then casts a Disciple of the Vault. He has a Bayou his land, and casts a Chrome Mob. Death gets the draw, with Teddy imprinting a March of Swirling Mist under the mob with him having to discard a Scalding Tarn due to hand size. Claudio plays a Prismatic Vista. And because every player can search, I hope that no one has Opposition Agent. Eddie, <laughs> get him! Yeah, th this is the spot that I... I... <laughs> Claudio grabs out a Snow-Covered Island, with his best play apparently being a Jinka Taxis, Progress Tyrant. Hidden does have a response, although it's a bit sad, as he cycles a Veil of Summer. He gives a card to death in hopes for a force of will, but no such luck, as Hidden follows it up with a crop rotation, sacking his forest and giving another card to death, and grabs out a Gaia's Cradle. Hidden and death then pass priority, and the table was right, as Teddy taps 5 to cast an Ad Nause. Death draws, and Teddy starts flipping. He reveals quite a few cards, but his life starts dropping, as he ends the Nas at 4. And not wanting to deal with the Praetor, he packed negations it. 
Death draws, and the Praetor is countered. Claudia then heads to combat and sends Kinnon at Teddy for two. Who jumps it with his disciple? That was a big surprise what just happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is, after this turn, you win the game now, Death, because you have so much cards. You have the two touring card in your hand, and... Only has 11 cards in hand. <laughs> yeah, but you have to cut it, you will. Hidden on his turn, Sylvan's again. He takes another 8 for 2 cards, and has a mana confluence's land. Hidden is hoping to slow Death down, as for 2, he casts a Dance of the Dead on the Djinn. Death draws off the fish, and the Praetor is reanimated. But not having anything else to do, Hidden then ends his turn casting his commander, Yargle and Multani. Death lets his fish go, draws, and then activates his carpet for a blue mana. He then shocks in a watery grave, and using his floating blue, casts an extract, which nulls out the djinn for the turn. Two mana then gets him a Thassa's Oracle, which resolves. And, responding to the trigger, Death casts a Demonic Consultation. Teddy does have a response, as he spell pierces it. Death does have a response, though, as he mental missteps it. So now which Claudio responds with a Fierce Guardianship on the console. But Death has even more responses, as he swan songs it. And with that, the Fierce is countered, the spell pierce is countered, and the Demonic names you're already dead. To exile his library and win him the game with Thassa's. And before I get onto the game review, I do want to thank a special Patreon member, Josh Shutt, for his support of the channel, along with all of our other Patreon supporters as well. Game review. Well, guess that's what happens when you feed the fish just a bit too much. Honestly, it might have been the smarter play to not counter the gin, but at that point, Teddy was at four life and couldn't let the Praetor live regardless. I was really hoping though Death's lack of mana would limit him from going off with the Djinn, but I guess not. Although if given another turn, Hidden was holding Witherbloom Apprentice and Chain of Smog in hand, so the game definitely was not going to last much longer regardless. And as always, I want to thank all the players who joined for the games, and remember, never give up, even if you're dead on board. I'll see you guys later.